So I'm about to go on a Caribbean cruise and I thought I would just let you guys pack with me. I've done these in the past on most of my trips and I really do enjoy to do these because as I'm talking about it, sometimes it makes me think of something that I might have forgotten or maybe something that's really not necessary and I can leave out. So I kind of like to do these with you guys so you can just pack along with me. So today I will show you everything that I am packing for a Caribbean cruise and it has been a hot minute since I have taken a cruise where I'll be packing for warm weather. The last three cruises we've taken have been two to Alaska and one to New England and Canada, and those I packed jackets. So this one is packing some swimsuits and different things from my last three cruises. So let's go ahead and get started with this pack with me video for a Caribbean cruise. So I guess maybe I'll start with the clothes, swimsuits and shoes, and then go on to the toiletries, the makeup and everything. And then I'll show you what I'll be packing for my carry on. So let me go ahead and grab the clothes and show you what I'll be taking. And also I will be doing a, what I wore on the cruise video as well. I like to do those when I go on vacation, just so you can kind of see all the outfits together, shoes and everything. And a lot of times I'm a little bit more minimal and laid back on my vacations. So it's not like my everyday wear. So I still have all my clothes on the hankers because I haven't gotten a chance to steam all of them yet. And yes, I do like to steam my clothes before I put them in a suitcase because I know that on a cruise ship, you can't take a steamer and I'm not really good at ironing. I will put more wrinkles in it when I try to do that. So I love a steamer and I know I can't take one. So I'm going to be steaming everything before. So a lot of these are still on hankers. So the first thing that I'll be packing is swimsuits and cover-ups. This is actually a tank that my friend bought us to travel together with, and she said she wanted to wear it as a cover-up. So this is what we will be using as one of our cover-ups. And then I have this one, which is a zip-up, and I really like this because it has a hood on it as well. It is made out of a terry cloth material, so I thought this would be really good. It's bright and vibrant, and it'll just go with everything. Even if it doesn't, this is gonna be nice because it zips up, it's a good length, it's really nice and long and I just think it's gonna be comfortable to use as the cover up. So we're actually going on a five night cruise. This will be my first five night cruise. Most of the ones I go on are seven nights, but I am taking four swimsuits. Yes, and that might be a little bit extra, but I do have two of these one pieces, and then I have this swim dress, and then I also have this one that has a little bit of a little peak in the middle, Kind of give it a little bit of a different look. So my friend made us two shirts to wear on the trip. One of them is a girl's trip shirt that we'll be wearing on the plane on the way down. And then we have one for embarkation, which I'm really super excited about. She's really crafty. This one says cruising besties. And I think that's so cute. So I have this for embarkation day along with some shorts. And that is mostly what I'll be having is some shorts and I've got some really cute outfits for dinner as well. So then I just have a semi dressier shirt and some more of the shorts, just like the other ones. And then a button up really nice thin top, another pair of denim shorts, a little bit of a longer length. And then I just have this extra graphic tee with some extra shorts just in case I want to not wear the dress here top for one day, just depending on what we're doing. And then I also brought this because um, I didn't know, I looked at the temperature, we are going in November, but I did look at the temperature and it was gonna be between 70 and 90, but just in case I get a little bit cool in the ship or in the room, I did bring this lightweight sweatshirt and then these longer crop style pants to just wear in case I get a little bit cool somewhere in the ship, but I don't think I'm going to out and about. So mostly shorts and graphic tees and some just really cute semi dressy and some casual tops to wear while we're there. And then let me show you the dinner options. So my last three cruises have been on Norwegian and they don't really get dressed up a lot. They're more laid back and casual, but I know a lot of people like to get dressed up on carnival and it has been a while. It's probably been 10 to 12 years since I've been on a carnival cruise. So I'm just gonna bring dresses for dinner cause I do like to dress up a little bit and I love to go to the dining room. So this is one of the dresses for one night. And since it's a five night, there is a one formal night. So I do have a little semi dressy dress for that. But mostly they're the more casual dresses because I do like to wear dresses to dinner. This is actually a dress that I will take when we actually go out on port and go to the beach. And I will just put this over my swimsuit for the day for whatever we do before we get to the beach. Just a really nice sundress. And then this is another dinner option dress. And then I have another 
little dress that I love to wear over swimsuits so I can wear it out and about at one of the islands and before we get to the beach. This will be the what I'm wearing for formal night. It's not anything fancy or formal, but I just really liked it and I thought I would wear that for formal night. And then this is a really cute jumpsuit. I love this jumpsuit, but just in case it's a little bit cool in the dining room, I do have the denim jacket to put over top of that if it gets a little bit cool. And then I haven't decided what I'm gonna be wearing yet for a travel day. So we will be flying down the day before, flying back the same day that we disembark. I'll usually wear the same travel outfit going down and coming back, but I have not decided yet what I am doing for my travel outfit. I do know the shirt that I'm going to be wearing, but I've got to figure everything else out because we're going to be leaving some cooler weather and then going to warmer weather. Let's go into the shoes. So I have these cute little sandals that I thought I would wear with all of the dress options for dinner. And then I have these croc flip-flops because they are water resistant they'll dry really quickly and it doesn't matter if they get sand or anything on them. these are for wearing at the beach or around the pool area on the ship then i have these blush sandals and you've seen these guys on a lot of my videos i love to travel with these they're very nice and comfortable and i love that they're that blush tone so they're a great neutral they'll work with everything that I have, so I have these as well. And then I have these that I'll be wearing because these, it doesn't matter if you get these wet either. So if I am walking around the pool deck, but I'm going somewhere else, I'm not gonna have to worry about sneakers or sandals getting wet. And they look like they're an espadrille, but they're not. Everything is made out of the material that will dry really quickly and can get wet. So I have these as well for a lot of the looks. And then I have one more pair of shoes, and I know that's like five pair of shoes for five days, but I have these sneakers that I will be wearing in the airport to travel there and then on the way back in the airport. These are just my go-to to walk around in the airport because they're so nice and comfortable. And then if I decide to wear these sometime during the trip instead of some of the sandals, I'll have these as well. But these will want to be actually wearing so they won't be packed. This will be what I'm wearing down and back. And then I do have one bag that I'll be taking. It's this one right here. I wanted to just take one simple bag so that I can use it as a crossbody because it comes with a crossbody strap. If I wanna just walk around the ship with it, then it does have a crossbody strap. But then if I wanna wear it for dinner at the dining room or something like that, it can also be used as a clutch, but then it also has a chain that really dresses it up as well that you can wear over the shoulder. So this is just very, Versatile, being a crossbody, a shoulder bag, or a clutch. So I'm just taking this and it's in black, so it's gonna go with everything. So I'm just taking this one handbag. And then a couple of miscellaneous things. I have my selfie stick that I will be using for showing you what I'm wearing and if we wanna take any pictures along the way. And then I have my luggage scale that I always take with me to make sure it stays under that 50 pounds. And then just a packing cube that has all my underwear and socks in it. And then this is another miscellaneous item, but I love these. So I'll put it in this little pouch because it can be a double duty pouch. Once I empty what's in here, once we get there, then I can use this if we're on the beach or something because this little pouch is made out of a Tyvex, like a coated Tyvex, and so it's splash proof. And I really like these bags. You'll see this in just a minute with my beach bag, and then I have another bag that I'm taking. Really love these bags, but I have these hangers. So just in case there's not enough hangers there, I do like these little travel hangers. So these are really nice and it comes in a pack of 10. So I do have 10 extra hangers and I just put them in this little pouch so you can see all the hangers in there so that once I take them out, I can use this pouch for something else if I wanna take it to the beach because it is splash proof. See, that is why I like to do this video because as I was looking around, I thought, wait a minute, I have forgotten my pajamas. So I have one pair of pajamas that I'll be taking. They're actually long sleeve because my friend says she likes to keep it cold. So I just wanna make sure that I am not gonna freeze to death. So I have a pair of pajamas as well to take. And then let me just, I guess, show you how I'll be packing the beach bag and what I'll, I'll be taking for the beach bag when we're out at port. Here is the actual beach bag that I will be taking. This is from that same company as this pouch right here. They are that Tyvex material and I just love them. They are so good about being splash proof and then they have a little zipper on the inside of this, but then this is its close. So I really like a beach bag that zips closed. Also has a zipper on the back of this so you can put some little small things that you're not gonna get lost in the beach bag. But what I really like is that when I'm packing it, it packs completely flat. You can fold it and everything like that. So you can just put it and cram it wherever you need to, but it's a really good size beach bag when you get there as well. And then I also have this larger pouch, again, with that same kind of material, so it's splash proof. But this is if I do have something wet as we're getting ready to leave. If there is something wet, I can put it in here and it's not gonna get everything else in my suitcase wet. So this is big enough to put a swimsuit and maybe even a cover up or a beach towel maybe will fit in here. But anything that is still 
a little bit wet, I can put in here and keep it separate and keep everything else from getting wet. And then of course I have my beach towel, this really cute Vera Bradley beach towel. I love it, isn't that cute? Just gives me all of those nautical coastal vibes. So I had to bring this one along. So this will be what I use when we go out. We have two islands that we're going to and we're gonna be going to the beach on both of those. So this will be for that. And then also have this waterproof belt bag. And this is really nice because if we're both out in the water and we have our beach bags sitting, if we get umbrellas or anything like that, if we rent that, then if we're in the water, we're not gonna to have to worry about our bag and try to keep an eye on our bag because I will put my wallet, which is this little RFID wallet. I will put it in here. So I'll have my key card and anything else, a little bit of cash. And and then I always like to take a makeup setting spray just to cool off at the beach. So I have one of those and then a detangler for my hair. And then I also have a small hairbrush, which you're gonna see in a little bit that will be in my toiletry bag, but it's one of the wet brushes and it's in that small travel size. It will also be in my beach bag. So I love to use the detangler and then just comb through my hair. And then, you know, your feet can get a little bit sweaty. And so I like this cooling foot spray because it cools it down and it just makes them smell a little bit better in that hot sun. And then of course, baby powder, a little secret I found out with the kiddos. This gets that sand right off. It slides right off because they are full of sand all the time. So I always take baby powder if I'm gonna be at a beach. And then a waterproof phone case. And then of course we have to have our sunscreen. So I thought this little pouch was cute to put this in it. Actually, I bought like a three piece set. So it came in here. So it is the Sun Bum. I've got the Sun Bum 30 SPF. And then I have this cool down lotion. I really like to just make sure I'm moisturized after being out in the sun. So this is really cool to use after you take your shower when you get back. And then I have a couple of other sunscreens in here. Uh, this Biosance, I really like it. It is a 50, I think. No, it's a 30 SPF and then this banana boat. So I just have a few different ones. I like to use this one on my face and then I'll use this one on the rest of my body. And then I just brought this one in case uh, I needed it and I ran out of the other. And then of course the Sun Bun Coconut 30 SPF. Gotta have that lip balm that has the SPF in it so your lips don't get burnt. That is something that people always forget and it's been what I've forgotten before and I have had burnt lips and I will never do that again. And then sunglasses, of course. I have two pairs of sunglasses that I will be taking, and these are from the brand Key. Love these. So these are like a mid-range price. Usually I'll take my Ray-Bans, but I didn't want to take those just in case I get them lost. So I have those mid-range ones, and then I have these really super cheap ones. These are from Timu. So these were like a dollar, two dollars. So if I lose these, that's okay. But I always take two pairs of sunglasses because if I do lose one, then I have one as a backup. So that's everything that will be in my beach bag. And let's move on to toiletry and makeup bags. So here's my makeup bag and it's actually small for what I'm taking. I've got a lot of trial size stuff in here, but this is the Lug Hover. And I really like this because it has a place for your brushes and it's that wipeable material. So you don't have to worry if your makeup does spill out. But this is a little bit smaller than the trolley that I usually take, but I'm still taking the trolley. You'll see that in just a minute with my toiletries. But this is all gonna be makeup in here. And so I've actually already got it packed up. So I've got all of my brushes over here on the side, highlighter brush, a brow brush, a liner brush. And then there are three brushes that I use for eyeshadow. I have this one for my all over, this one for the crease, and then this one kind of just to smudge it out. And then foundation brush, bronzer brush, blush brush, and then the setting powder brush. So those are all the brushes that I have. And I like it because it has that little area right here where I can just slide them all in. And that has that plastic that's easy to wipe off with a baby wipe. So you don't have to worry about all this makeup and stuff, getting on something and staining it. So I went and put those back in there. And then this has this little thing that lifts up. You can take this out if you want to, you don't have to have it, but it's a really neat little mesh thing. And I kind of just put some tools in it. So I have a file and some tweezers and a beauty blender um, elf in there. And then in this part right here, you'll see all of the makeup that is in there. So I do have a hydrating face primer. I wanted to make sure everything was hydrating because it's gonna be that hot climate. So I wanted to make sure I had a hydrating primer. And then the foundation that I have is the LCC cream in the color light 210N. The setting powder that I have in this little trial is from Laura Mercier. And then the bronzer that I have is from Benefit. 
it's really a good travel size. I got this in like a Christmas set. So it had all these little small ones, had blushes and bronzers. So I decided to bring this along as my bronzer because it's in a really neat compact case. The under eye concealer, I brought my two favorites. So I like to double up on my makeup with a brightener and then the color that really matches. And these are both from Maybelline. I love these, but I'm almost out of the color one. So I have a lot of the brightener one, but just in case I run out because like it's at the end of it and it's in the color Fair 110. I do have a shape tape in a little mini size. I picked this up at Ulta in the mini and it is in the color light sand. So I have the shape tape concealer if I run out of my Maybelline. And then the highlighter that I have is from Charlotte Tilbury. It is the color spotlight. I'm almost out of this too, so I may use that one up while I'm there. Another chapstick. I have those everywhere just because I don't want my lips to get chapped. The blush from Milani in Luminoso. And then the mascara is from Essence. It's the Lash Princess and it's the False Lash Effect Mascara. I won't be taking any false lashes with me this time. And then I have a eyebrow pencil, the Tarte Brow Architect in the color medium tan. And the eyeliner is Maybelline Unstoppable in Espresso. I like a brown eyeliner instead of a black. And then I have another chapstick. This one has a color to it. It is in Sunset Nude, just in case I wanna put that on instead of some lipstick and just have a softer look. And then I have another setting spray in here. I did have one for my beach bag, but then I also have one in my makeup bag. And then my lip products that I love, this is my combo I love all the time. The Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pink Venice and then the Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick and Pillow Talk, and this is a little small mini one as well, and then the Maybelline Lip Gloss in the color Ruby. I love that combination together, but that is my makeup, just a little bit of a minimal makeup, and then let's move on to toiletries. So my toiletry bag will be the Lug Trolley. So let's go ahead and just start off with the miscellaneous. I always have to have wipes. My friend makes fun of me for all the wipes that I take with me, but these are the Sweet Spot, and they're in Vanilla Blossom, and they're seven individually wrapped. I like to get them individually wrapped so they don't dry out, but those will be going along. This on the side here. And then I wasn't sure, because it has been a while since I've been on a carnival, I wasn't sure if they had shampoo and conditioner and stuff, so I did pick up a travel size at Walmart of some shampoo and conditioner in here. And then for the days that I don't want to wash my hair, I've got some dry shampoo in there, just a little travel size. And I did pick up some hairspray, a little trial size of hairspray if I decide to curl my hair and need that. So that's all the hair products that I have along with just something to kind of tease and part my hair. And then I have that wet brush, the little small one. I thought I would take this one instead of my bigger wet brush so that it would be easier to pack. And then I could also put it in my beach bag as well. Some clips, can't run out of clips in case one breaks. I've got two, those are great clips from Timu, love those. So that is all for my hair. And then just a little miscellaneous thing I have. I've got this stuff forever, it's that Hollywood fashion tape, just in case something has a mishap and I need to tuck things in. I do have that just in case. And then for skincare, in case I have some really stubborn makeup to take off eye makeup, then I have this Clinique Rinse Off Eye Makeup Solvent and then some pads to take that off with. A lot of times when I'm traveling, I will just take makeup wipes, but I just decided I wasn't going to this time because I really don't like to use them. And so I just picked up a trial size of the favorite cleanser that I have. I use all kinds of cleansers, but this one's the one I always go back to. It's from CeraVe, it's the Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser, which is good for normal to dry skin. And this time of year, I really have dry skin, so that's my cleanser. And then I like to really hydrate. So I love to get these sheet masks when I'm traveling, because I'll just take it 10 minutes and just put it on and just relax for 10 minutes. So I may do this out on the balcony, but this is one I picked up at Walmart and it's from Patchology. It's a mega moisture sheet mask. So I really wanted to get this one because I wanted to moisturize because that heat and everything, I wanted to make sure I'm moisturized. And then my favorite moisturizer, the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion, and then eye cream from Biosense. It's the Squalane and Marine Algae Eye Cream. Um, this comes in a bigger bottle, but I always have the mini as well. So when it gets empty, I will take it from my bigger bottle to my mini so that I'm not taking up a lot of room because this is my go-to every day. And then I have one more thing for skin here. Oh, here it is. From Biosance. It's the Squalane and Lactic Acid Resurfacing Night Serum. So just that serum to put on 
at night as well. So that's all the skincare that I'm taking. So usually you just see some makeup wipes for me, but this time I actually have a semi-basic skincare routine. It's not my everyday nighttime routine, but it's a little basic one. And I told you, I have chapstick everywhere. Here's another lip balm that has the 30 SPF in it. It's some watermelon flavor. Now, I have this little thing just to put my hair back, and then I have these two. They're not the makeup erasers, but they're like an off-brand of these. I picked up a whole bunch of these off Amazon, but I like to take my makeup off with these because I do not like to use washcloths from anywhere, a hotel, a cruise ship, anywhere. I don't like to use anybody else's, so I have these to take my makeup off with, and then I have this little clip. If I'm doing my hair or whatever, I want, or my makeup, and I want to clip it back, I do have this one little clip, and then in case I don't want to wash my hair one day, <laughs> I took this from the Cosmopolitan when I stayed there earlier this year, a shower cap. And so then I have the travel razor and a travel shaving cream from EOS in the pomegranate raspberry. And then for my contacts, I do have just a contact case and contact solution if I need that. And then I wasn't sure again whether or not what they had, like on Norwegian, they have the little things in the shower where you just push them and they come down for the um, shampoo and the bath gel. So I wasn't sure what they had there, so I do have a travel bath gel that I picked up from a hotel as well. Deodorant, travel size. And lastly, I have my toothbrush, toothpaste, and floss. So that's all the toiletries that I will be taking with me. And then I also have this Beach Waver B1 that I'm gonna be taking with me. I took it on another trip and used it. I only used this one time, but I really liked the effect that it gave me. And I know someone asked me if I would do a tutorial on this one and I just haven't gotten a chance to do that yet, but I promise I will do that. I promise you, she's somebody that has been a subscriber for a while, so I definitely want to do that for her. So let's move on to now my carry-on. So we will be flying Allegiant, so we'll be checking a bag. And this will be my carry-on on my personal item to put under the seat in front of me. This is a brand new backpack that I just purchased from Calpac. It's the Luca one. And I am so excited about trying this one out. I've been wanting to get this and I thought this would be a perfect time, but this is kind of like a laptop backpack. And I'm actually not taking my laptop this time. This will be the first trip I'm not taking my laptop with me, but it has a really nice padded area back here. Pat it in the front and in the back, and it has a little strap to keep it secure. I think it fits up to a 15-inch laptop, and mine's a 13. But um, that, that would be really nice for that. So it's got two different compartments here. First things first, like I said, it's an hour and a half flight, so I'm not packing everything. So I just have a notebook and a pen because I love to take notes on some videos that I might do. Like if I get an idea of about a video that I might like to do, I like to take notes and scribble down stuff. So I have a notebook for that. And then I will be taking this little wallet and keep it in the front here. So after I fill that up, it'll be in this front pocket along with my passports. And then I'll drop my phone in this first pocket. So in this first pocket, I'll have my wallet that'll be easy to get to, my passports, and then my phone for my tickets. So this will be my jewelry. I have not packed my jewelry yet. I have not picked out my jewelry yet. I've still got to do that. That'll be like a last minute thing. And then I'll just drop it here in my carry-on. And then I always have to have my contacts. I do wear daily. So I put my contacts in my carry-on so as they don't get lost because I cannot see anything without those. And then my glasses, just in case anything happens to my contacts, I will have my glasses in here. And then my Kindle will be I may even put my Kindle in the front here for easy access because I will be reading on that. So that'll be really easy to put in there. And then also some headphones. These headphones are so good, you guys. Like I decided not to do the earbuds and I got these. I love these so much. They're noise canceling too. And then I do have a lighted mirror just in case I need it for anything. And then some tissues. And then I have ibuprofen because I always seem to get a headache when I travel. So there's that. And then because once not enough, I have two hand sanitizers in here. And then I have my wipes. So we've got Lysol wipes, Clorox wipes, and then wet ones all in this little package here to keep them from leaking everywhere. Oh, I forgot my air tag. I gotta put this in my suitcase. So I'll know where my suitcase is. All right, so this is my carry-on and that is everything I will be packing with me for a five night cruise on the Carnival cruise ship. So I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys, and I would love to have you hit that subscribe button. I do weekly videos on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle, and I also do travel vlogs when I travel as well. So I hope to see you in my next video, and until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.